logistics. Uh, you practice su shifting substitution ciphers where each letter is replaced by one a few steps further along the alphabet so that cake and pie become yeah, totally. You practice random substitution ciphers where the normal alphabet is replaced by one in jumbled order. This is harder to decode, but most people need a written substitution chart to read or write it, and that chart can be lost or stolen. We got a new outfit. You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and the tools to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport, animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. And we unlocked another outfit. Excellent. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother won't be coming back. Thanks. However, I must call you for aid. The Exeonite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for far too long. Now it's time to push back. And there's some problems, we don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out if we want to make a fight of it. Eh, let's prepare for battle. Well, if they want to fight, then we'll give it to them. I will arrange for troops to be sent to your aid. Hey, thanks. That necklace you're wearing. Where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Senda. Then you have made arrangements. Uh, that's a courting gift. He wants to win your kind of marriage. Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, go walk in the gardens again. Okay, so we unlocked the uniform, which boosts military, but my one of my favorites, not my absolute, but one of my favorites, is the cat suit that boosts injury, because, oh my god, it's a cat suit, but you have a freaking monocle. So that's what I'm staying on. So we're going to continue with ciphering logistics. I kind of want to max out these two until we get um, our lumen crystal, and then I'm going to max out the magic, and then I think we will be good. Alright, uh, you practice complex transposition, transposition ciphers where messages are written down in columns or lines and reorganized into scrambled words. This means that both an encoded and plain text written copy exist, which can be insecure. You practice adding code to your ciphers, that is, replacing words with other words, such as handle for dupe, before changing the letters in the message. You memorize special cipher alphabets, where each letter is replaced by a symbol. Once these are memorized, you will not need to write down cipher sheets, and if the symbols do not look like letters, they can be hidden in decorations. You learn about the support costs but created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them, and then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. You study how to determine when to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed and how to avoid overreaching. Cool. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ixionites. You succeeded in driving them up, but it cost you about three quarters of a battalion of soldiers and a great deal of material. You lost 846 soldiers. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. Girl. Sure, let's talk to Dad. Dad, if this trouble with Ixion started years ago, why didn't Mum fix it? Your mother told them that it was their problem and they should sort it themselves. Oh, should I have done that? The situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes to see what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Everyone is judging me. Rude. Alright. study an ancient book that has a list of thousands of words and pictograms for each of them. In the past, these were used for important messages, but only trained bards could effectively mem memorize enough symbols to handle the codes efficiently. You learn to manipulate special boxes and jewelry with secret compartments to hide messages. A rare few have locks almost as complicated as the ciphers themselves. You learn about how to you learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations based on the movement of goods within their lands. Armies do not spring up full formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting as a troop and motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. Fun. There's a key thong in the old forest. It's a beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Alright. Eek! Several disappearances in southern Calaris have are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? There's traditional policy on stray beasts to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match. We would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people. Everyone dies at the end. Depressed. <laughs> oh. The Duke of Sedna. Oh, we have a letter. The Duke of Sedna, the guy who I'm wearing his courting gift, apparently, is arriving next week. Uh oh. Let's go for a walk in the gardens. Alright. And this should be the last time we have to do this. Yep. You learn that the more you use a code, the easier it is for enemies to break. The most secure cipher is one that is only used for a single message. You learn to use special code wheels to create rotating ciphers, which can only be decoded with another matching set of code wheels. We have nothing more to learn about ciphering. 
we learn to calculate how effective military strength wanes over distance from a home position as it becomes more difficult to put pieces into play. We learn how to delay the advance of an invading force by disrupting their transport and communications. And I have nothing more to learn about logistics. Well, that's awesome. Oh boy. He, he, see, he has purple hair, which is super intriguing to me, but his eyebrows are too thin. Giggle. I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. Oh boy. And he wants to marry me. <laughs> um, no. I need to let him down gently. I am not marrying you! I'm only 14! That's not gently, Ellery. Well done. That may not have been gentle. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. Sorry, dude. Alright. Uh-oh. Well, my medicine is now boosted, so let's do medicine until I see I'll sneak out some more. So, battlefield medicine and roadside cast. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll try and get them down. Up, up, up a little bit. Alright. You learn that willow bark can be used to relieve aches and fever. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. Requested to stand in judgment, a woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Oh, uh, Kevon. Kevon. That's his name. That's his name. It's probably Kevin, but I'm calling him Kevon. He's the Earl of Io. She tried to poison someone. Oh, she tried to poison the Duchess of Mead. Caught the culprit. What do you have to say for yourself? It's justice. Said he went for a so said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. Waited ten years. Something to do with the last Duke of Mead. He was involved in all sorts of scandals. Um, execute her. Yeah, I'm not have me. Oh, she's rushing me. Well, I can't throw anything because my archery test failed, but my guards cut her down. Put it on display so that everyone sees what happens to Queen. Alright, let's see. affairs and strategy. Okay, cool. The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursel to no avail. The Duchess's brother is opposed, as he will inherit if she dies childless. Your agents suspect the Duchess of Ursel is actually more interested in the Duchess of Palas. Neither has either been linked to a man. Countess Leek of Dis married the old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age, then divorced him as soon as she bore him an heir in order to marry another. This was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, but the old Duke apparently had no objection. You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. Oh, I can tour the barracks now. That's exciting. Alright, uh, we hear a strange sound, look up to see an owl flying overhead, a single dry leaf flutters in its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were not- oh wow, I'm failing all the tests. A woman here to see me, she wishes crowdfunding for a project. She wants to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them die faster? Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. Alright. Hmm, let's go let's sneak out. Alright. And we'll do these two again. Oh boy, the Countess of Dis was, is now married to the disinherited third sibling of the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas. Hellas. Hellas, maybe. Currently, both Duke and Duchess are unwed. If either dies without an heir, the title may pass to the Countess's husband. Several generations back, the rulers of Alath and Sedna and neighboring Talasi married. The citizens of Alath objected to this foreign influence, and the resulting heir died in suspicious circumstances, after which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Alath Sedna union. There were many dark rumors about the second husband, the Duchess of Lila. Possibly because he was a commoner. It was whispered that he once assaulted the young Duchess of Alath before her untimely marriage and demise. You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand, and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. You study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You study the effects of a strong, strong hierarchy on military organization, and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication, can, communication across an army can be difficult. Disrupted signals can lead to chaos. Oh, the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. Uh-oh, there will be dancing. I am. I will be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? 
All right, there's a letter for me. It's from Brittany. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's been playing. Her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevon has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. All right, we're gonna sneak out again. 